Saturday will mark one year since the disappearance of two Evansdale cousins. Their families and the community spent five months praying and hoping for the girls' safe return. The bikes of eight-year-old Elizabeth Collins and 10-year-old Lyra Cook were found early in the search at Myers Lake in Evansdale. That discovery eventually led to a partial draining of the lake and the use of sonar technology, but neither brought any sign of the girls. Each month after their disappearance, the community held vigils for the girls, but on December 6th, hunters discovered two bodies in the Seven Bridges Wildlife Area of Bremer County. Just days later, police confirmed they were Elizabeth and Lyric. As the events unfolded, the parents of Elizabeth Collins never gave up hope that their daughter and niece would return home safely. CBS 2's Sadie Hughes joins us now with a look back at the year that's changed so much for the Collins family. Sadie? It's certainly been a terrible year for Drew and Heather Collins. But when I sat down with them today, it's clear despite everything that's happened, their faith has helped them get through, especially as they recounted their last moments with their daughter. A cherished memory. On Thursday night, I talked to Ren. And uh, I prayed for her. Followed by three unforgettable words. I love you, Daddy. The last words Drew Collins would ever hear from his eight-year-old daughter, Elizabeth. Glad we had that night. Images of those last moments are kept close by Elizabeth's mother, Heather. She just uh, gave her a hug and a kiss and told her I would love her. I love her and that was it. That was the last time I saw her. Uh, it's kind of like being in a tornado. You're trying to answer questions. Uh, you're trying to remember all the places you were. And... That was July 13th of last year, the day Elizabeth and her cousin Lyric Cook Morrissey didn't return home from a bike ride. Their bikes were found here at what is now known as Angels Park. We would just always wake up, though. We'd always wake up, and we'd always sit out on our porch. We, yeah, we waiting. We sat out front of our house forever. Just we were. We thought like any minute. The police are going to be here and bring them back. The community never stopped believing the girls would return. There were vigils each month, birthday parties, and chili cook-offs in their honor. Oh, it's just a community like no other. They've taken these girls on as their girls. And five months after their disappearance, the call finally came. And I just knew. But through the darkness, there was celebration. It was just perfect. For on the day they said goodbye, Elizabeth said hello from heaven. It was the most amazing sunset and it was just the huge pink sky and Elizabeth's signature color a taste of the reunion the Collins hope to one day have with her in heaven because I can't wait <sighs> God, it's just hard she would say I'm okay daddy Coming up tonight on the CBS 2 News at 10, well, this weekend is a time to remember for the Collins. It is also a time to think about what's helping them move forward. Now, you may be surprised at what they have to say to whomever is responsible for Lyric and Elizabeth Stess. In the studio, Sadie Hughes, CBS 2 News. This weekend will mark one year since the disappearance of two Evansdale cousins. Eight-year-old Elizabeth Collins and 10-year-old Lyra Cook went missing while on a bike ride. Their bicycles were later found at Myers Lake in Evansdale. And five months later, the girls' bodies were discovered in a wildlife area in Bremer County. CBS 2's Sadie Hughes sat down with the Collins family as they try to move forward. Drew and Heather Collins are the first to admit that it's been a very difficult year, but they've found ways to live on after the deaths of their daughter and niece. Now, part of their strength comes from helping protect others. The rest, they say, comes from God. In order for me to be a productive person, you can't have all that anger and animosity in you. Emotions Heather Collins and her husband Drew had to let go of, even for whomever killed their daughter Elizabeth and their niece Lyric. We forgive you, whoever has done this. That doesn't mean that they don't want justice, but they have accepted they will never understand why. No matter what th that person's reason is, it's never going to be good enough. So now they focus on what they can do like raising their two daughters and son. And I don't want our kids regretting their childhood because of what happened to Elizabeth and Larry. They are also fighting for other children. Drew teamed up with Waterloo Crime Stoppers to help locate unregistered sex offenders in Iowa. It makes me feel good when we when we do find one of these guys. Heather is also fighting to change Amber Alert rules in Iowa because an alert wasn't issued for the girls. 
Iowa has it set up so that you have to see a person and or a vehicle taking a, a child or a person in order to put on an Amber Alert. They are joining other parents who have lost children, lobbying for stricter laws for sex offenders and capital punishment for those who commit murder, along with another Class A felony. You played God with a, a baby's life and, and you're going to now be able to still live and my daughter's gone. And at what is now Angels Park, where the girls' bikes were found, volunteers are helping build a beautiful memorial to remember Elizabeth and Lyric and other young victims. Our community's come together and, and it's helped our, us get our focus off to just the waiting till they, you know, till they get somebody. Projects helping them pass the days with purpose. He took my daughter's life. He's not gonna take mine. He's not gonna have control over me. A memorial ride is being held in Evansdale on Saturday, the anniversary of the girls' disappearance. Now, we will be covering this weekend's events right here on CBS2. In the studio, Sadie Hughes, CBS2 News. CBS2, Sadie Hughes joins us now live from Evansdale, where Angels Park is taking shape. Sadie. Angels Park is a place honoring five murdered Iowa girls, including Elizabeth Collins and Lyric Cook. Now, since they broke ground here in February, they've created this roadway that leads out here to this island where they've cleared trees and shrubbery, all working to create a place of hope for the community. Even as the hammer falls, Volunteers at Angels Park find peace. You just feel their presence. Donna Frickson often waters around the gazebos for Elizabeth Collins and her cousin, Lyric Cook. I really think the whole community needed it. The memorial honors four murdered Iowa girls, Lyric and Elizabeth, Evelyn Miller, and Denisha Hill. Lindsay Nichols, who was killed at 22, has the fifth and largest pavilion, watching over the rest. It just seems like a little bit that we can do that might help somebody feel a little better. The beauty here now, grown by volunteers and donations. There's so many people in the community that have come out and planted, uh, knocked trees down, helped, you know, dig the gardens and do all the work. They just show up. Bringing a new feeling to the place where Elizabeth and Lyric Spikes were found after they disappeared. You get the joy of seeing people's faces when they get to see how far you've come. And for some, the building and planting helps them come closer to the girls they never met. I feel like I'm like Elizabeth. Her parents say she was a brave and sweethearted girl and um, my mom also always says I'm that. Because here, the angels come home. There's always butterflies. Butterflies are a sign of life. Now, Elizabeth and Lyric loved the color pink, and tomorrow on the one-year anniversary of their disappearance, volunteers will come out here to Angels Park to plant roses like this one, 60 of them, in fact, in heart-shaped flower gardens to honor the girl's memory. In Evansdale, Sadie Hughes, CBS2 News. Thank you, Sadie. And police say they are still aggressively looking for anyone involved in the girls' deaths. Anyone with information is urged to call the Evansdale Police Department or Cedar Valley Crime Stoppers at the numbers there on your screen.